Based on observations from several NASA missions, the map details the path of the Moon's shadow as it crosses the contiguous U.S. during the annular solar eclipse on October 14, 2023, and total solar eclipse on April 8, 2024. These dark paths across the continent show where observers will need to be to see the ring of fire when the moon blocks all but the outer edge of the sun during the annular eclipse and the ghostly white outer atmosphere of the sun, the corona, when the moon completely blocks the sun's disk during the total eclipse. Outside those paths, the map also shows where and how much the sun will be partially eclipsed by the moon. On both dates, all 48 contiguous states in the U.S. will experience at least a partial solar eclipse, as will Mexico and most of Canada. On NASA's new eclipse map, the paths for the annular eclipse and total eclipse appear as dark bands across the U.S. Anyone located in the annular eclipse path, from Oregon to Texas, will have a chance to see the annular eclipse if the skies are clear. Anyone located in the total eclipse path, from Texas to Maine, will have a chance to see the total eclipse, weather permitting. An area of Texas near San Antonio, where the two eclipse paths cross, will experience both the annular eclipse in 2023 and the total eclipse in 2024. Credit. NASA, Scientific Visualization Studio, Michaela Garrison. Eclipse Calculations by Ernie Wright, NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. Inside those dark paths are oval shapes with times inside them, yellow ovals for the annular eclipse, purple ovals for the total eclipse. Those ovals show the shape of the moon's shadow cast on Earth's surface at the times shown. People in the areas inside the ovals will see the annular eclipse or total eclipse at that time. The moon's shadow will move quickly during both eclipses. On the map, ovals within the eclipse paths show the location and shape of the shadow at different times. For example, during the total eclipse on April 8, 2024, the moon's shadow will be over Dayton, Ohio at 3.10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, but by 3.20 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time it will have moved to Buffalo, New York. Credits. NASA, Scientific Visualization Studio, Michaela Garrison. Eclipse Calculations by Ernie Wright, NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. For locations close to the center of the paths, the annular eclipse or total eclipse will last longer than those near the outer edges of the path. Inside each path are white lines that indicate how long annularity or totality will last. For the annular eclipse path, you can find labels, ranging from 3 to 4.5 minutes, near the Nevada-Utah border in the north and between San Antonio and Corpus Christi, Texas, in the south. For the total eclipse path, you can find labels near Presque Isle, Maine, in the north, and between the 2.20 and 2.25 p.m. Central Standard Time ovals in Mexico in the south. The closer to the center of the eclipse path, the longer each eclipse will last. On the map, each eclipse path includes white lines that indicate how long that eclipse will last at different locations. For example, the annular phase of the eclipse will last about 4 minutes near Elko, Nevada, and about four and a half minutes near Richfield, Utah. Credits. NASA, Scientific Visualization Studio, Michaela Garrison. Eclipse Calculations by Ernie Wright, NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. Viewers in locations outside the paths will not experience a total solar eclipse or annular eclipse, but they may still see a partial eclipse. Lines running parallel to each path indicate how much of the sun will become covered by the moon during the partial eclipse. For the annular eclipse, these lines appear faint yellow. For the total eclipse, they're faint purple. Percentage labels for the annular eclipse lines appear along the left and top edges of the map. The percentage labels for the total eclipse appear along the bottom and right edges of the map. The percentages appear at the same angles as the lines. Outside of the eclipse paths, purple and yellow lines on the map show the percentage of the sun that will become covered by the moon at different locations for the total and annular eclipses, respectively. For example, the purple line that passes near New York City and Providence, Rhode Island, indicates that the sun will become about 90% obscured in those cities during the peak of the eclipse on April 8, 2024. Credit. 
NASA Scientific Visualization Studio, Michaela Garrison. Eclipse Calculations by Ernie Wright, NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. Neither eclipse will be contained to the contiguous U.S., though. In the lower right corner of the NASA map, a globe shows the full paths for both eclipses. The annular eclipse, in yellow and black, extends into Mexico, Central America, and South America. The total eclipse, in purple and black, also crosses Mexico and northeastern Canada. Shaded bands, yellow for the annular eclipse and purple for the total eclipse, also show where a partial eclipse can be seen. For example, in October 2023, southeastern Alaska will experience a partial eclipse, while Hawaii will have a chance to see a partial eclipse in April 2024.